I think the same is true for Earthshaker. So they probably will stack a lot. Question is, like, can Crescendo just go in and contest those? Chicken making its glorious march back. But in the meanwhile, trouble in the mid lane as mid one will find that first blood. Yapsor, patient, waiting. Playing it in, in this situation is that these are two static laning heroes. Like, the Lich and the Veno are not going to leave this lane unless they TP to a counter gank. Kezu top. Yeah, good catch with Kezu. Void comes through. He tries for the last minute surge, but okay. Showing that he is not rusty on the micro skills. I guess the worry is like he's really their only team fight and only initiation outside of a Night Stalker just running in, and he's only level two right now. So they will find Yapsor here though, catch him out in the trees. Fisher's there, but unfortunately unable to trap that uh, Enchantress on the wrong side. They're gonna lay in the shrapnels. The Void gets the job done. So Crescendo do strike mid. Might try to transition this into a little tower pressure. Nothing too surprising, I guess, with the way the lanes have developed. It's really just been these support rotations. The Shaker, the Ench, they're going to find Puppy. who was saving a skill point to grab the Ice Armor in the end. They isolate MP, though. It's the first night time where you want to get a lot of heavy lifting down, and Crescendo will enter the bottom lane triumphantly. That is a big kill taking MP down. Died because of it. They brought the episode down, and meanwhile, Crescendo wrapping around a mid one. This would certainly be the bigger kill if they get him. He's not going to be easy, but the Void comes through. Trapdoll's there. Stun follow up. Bam! PPK unloads. That must have been a satisfying kill for him. It's stuff like that. Yeah, maybe maybe TI had to. The, that, the reason why Morphlane was like the hero that everyone remembers being broken at TI2 is because Lycan was banned every game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, hold that thought as mid one makes a big dive. In the mid lane, Cinderit's there with the catch though. Can he finish him off in time? Mid one chilling in the trees. What's to turn oh. it around? Sin walks into it. Good timing there on the phase shift. And now the chase forward. Excalibur trying to finish him off, but mid one still running. He gets off the refraction again. Cinder in a fleeting orb forward. Dang. I think that's probably like the best. SNY seems pretty good too, because you can just kite people so hard. Like, have you ever been galed and S and Y at the same time. You just don't move. They want EGM. They're going to vacuum him back on the other side of this Fisher. Drop the ball. Keep on chasing. But see you later. I, I have wings. And I'm going to use them. GGM looks to make it out. Will manage to catch Kezu there with a perfect timing on the void. And at the buzzer, he'll bring down the Darkseer. Secret get completely shut down. Oh, It's definitely report worthy. Bad. Instant report. <laughs> There should be certain pick combinations that just automatically get people in the low priority. Yeah, like just picking techies. Yeah. Just automatic low priority. Automatic. <laughs> Pin one might be sent to an automatic death here as he gets completely oh, caught nice up by Crescendo. The Fissure is fantastic. The Echo Slam's on point. They will get Ake. Okay. Oh my Look god. Like, oh, or will they get Ake? Okay. So or will they get Ake? Okay. Or will they get Ake? Oh okay. They will He's not actually get Ake. Okay. Raindrops oh my. for the win. So I, I guess it still does vary. I've seen, you know, 3-1-1. I've seen 1-1-3. One, They're one, going to force out Excalibur's ult, but oh, maybe not to their liking as he charges back and he munches down one. He's gone for that new, like, kind of in vogue build here with the Armlet Mask of Madness. Just pure punching oh, might power die. for him. Okay. Yeah, five seconds is especially not a lot when you're liking and you spend at least half the time just, you know, getting to a target to hit them the first time. Yeah. So Cinder in here, he'll hold the mid lane back. They are farming up some nice stacks. Scalver quickly chewing through them. Aki going back for the Midas and Crescendo. Oh, Cinder and my god. Definitely. Oh my. Take the got camera off shot. for one second. He, just, he got two shots. Deleted. Shot. It was like he got melded, phase shifted, instantly died after he came out of the phase shift. Some tools to kite. This TA weighed out her BKB. Speaking of which, is now done. So mid one hitting power curve peak after. Peak now trying to snowball even further. They're going to hunt EGM here. Flaps his way into the trees. He didn't get quite far enough, though, and they are going to converge, but goes for the TP out. Fissure is there. Yap slams the door. We'll find the... And with the shrines being taken off the map as well, that just opens up another Roshan. They're going to move on Akia here, and oh, he'll be slowed down. It's going to be a oh. two-shot. Mid one oh, makes it go splat. He gets the, the courier. courier, too. Those oh. prized precious wards rip. 40 Even with this survivability, you can see how patient he's being. 48 armor, excuse me. 
Like, he could probably just stand there, get the racks. He might lose the Aegis, but then he still has a 10 second BKB. Okay. Well, now they want to engage. engage. Great silence by Cinder, though. Right when Yapsor was looking for the Echo Slam. This could be a turnaround opportunity. They want to lock the Shigger down. The Fissure connects the two. The Chain oh. Frost is there. Oh, mama, that's going to leave a mark. Ake marches in. Now they get the Shigger. That is not how they scripted it. Okay, tries to make it out. Traps are there. BBK is cleaning up, though. He's gotten three just planking away. He says, take that, you wankers. But they haven't dealt with the mid one problem. And now he chases on. MP still alive. The two key cores for Secret hold the line. They will now turn back for the melee. Sniper down. The way lies open to one lane of Rex for Secret. TA is just way too strong. Like, just look at the net worth. He's 6k ahead of anyone, even on his own team. Now Venom moving in, MP just kind of suicide bombing himself a BBK. He will get the kill. They crack the shrine. Not going to matter though. And now looking for a second lane. It's onto the melee. They still have the Aegis. The BKB hasn't even been used for God's sake. He's got a 10 second available. A secondary coil commanded. Now he BKBs. He waltzes back to safety. That's painful to watch. EGM on the chase, but there's the four step. And there's my complete loss of all motor functions as we try to stay on track here. MP still making it back towards safety. Yapsor on the high ground again, looking for the pickoffs here. Chainfrost cooling down and EGM and Excalibur running for dear life. Mid one has not gone home. He's trying to get these splash hits onto Cinder and it looks like from the neutral camp, Cinder and jumping away and into the waiting clutches of Secret. But buyback now, it's one last hurrah, Secret. Not wasting any time and going for the jugular. Now onto the melee racks once again. Blink forward from Sin. He pretty much killed every lane that he walked to. It's like they didn't really transition well after that. Right? Yeah, exactly. They did, they did. Oh my god. All right, Secret have hit every combo required to take this fight. It looks like they're diving for more. They're going to get Cinder in too. That's a die back on him. It's a decapitation GG. under the tier fours, and the GG call is made. But mid one, he wants this final kill. He wants BBK. Won't get him though. The GG saves him. Get away. Yeah, I, in my head, I was thinking that the mid matchup would probably be a bit more favorable than it was, but the Yapsor was also there for a good amount of time. So he sat behind mid, he was throwing fissures. You talked about how he didn't really commit a lot of time stacking, but the reality is, I think if you leave that 1v1, that mid one probably ends up not doing nearly as well. They certainly wouldn't ever kill the sniper, which they did end up getting a kill on him before. And then they get the stacks on top of that after.